In this lecture here, we want to begin our study of factoring polynomials. Now, this is an incredibly important topic um, that's going to come up throughout the class, factoring a polynomial. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this lecture and we're going to cover many different factoring methods. Okay, We're going to talk about factoring out the greatest common factor of a polynomial, factor by grouping, factor trinomials, factor the difference of two squares, factor perfect square trinomials, factor the sum or difference of two cubes, and then finally factoring polynomials fully. And what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> this lecture is very long, so I'm going to break it up into multiple short videos. And in this first video here, what I'm going to do, this first video lecture, I'm going to cover factoring out the greatest common factor of a polynomial, and then factor by grouping. Okay, so first to begin, um, what, what, what exactly do I mean by factoring a polynomial? <clears throat> so factoring a polynomial expressed as the sum of monomials means finding an equivalent expression that is a product. So what you're going to see over, over, um, over these lectures is I'm going to take, say, a polynomial like this, x squared plus uh, 5x plus 6. And I'm going to show you how to rewrite this expression as an equivalent expression that is a product. So it turns out that this, and I'll show you how to do this in a, in a later video, this is equal to x plus 2 times x plus 3. And what's going on here is you took this polynomial and you took and you and you rewrote it as the product of, of two, two much simpler polynomial expressions. And that's our goal. So we want to take a, a polynomial and rewrite it that is the product of two, two easier polynomials, two, two sim more simple polynomials. Okay, so the goal in factoring a polynomial is to use one or more factoring techniques, which we're going to cover over a number of videos, until each of the polynomial's factors, except possibly for a monomial factor, is a prime or irreducible. So, like if you look here, I can't simplify this this product, this factor anymore, or I can't fact I can't simplify this factor anymore. All right, in this situation, the polynomial is said to be factored completely, and that's our goal. We want to take something like this. completely. All right, and there's going to be a lot of different techniques um, that we'll work through in the uh, in the coming video lectures. Okay, and I highly encourage you as you watch these lectures to to take a lot of notes, pause the lecture and you know, try the problem at you know, at, when I put it up there, see if you can 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 factor it yourself after you see me do one or two examples. Okay, so the most the first method we're going to talk about is factoring out the greatest common factor. Okay, so the greatest common factor, <coughs> abbreviated GCF, greatest common factor, and is a, is an expression of the highest degree that divides each term of the polynomial. Okay, so what I mean by that is, look, if you have two numbers here, okay, let's just take uh, the numbers I don't know, twelve and eight. Okay, what are you know what is the greatest common factor of these numbers? You know, well two goes into both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can rewrite this as two times six. This is two times four. Okay, I could rewrite this as three times four. Well, look here. This number four is the largest number that will divide evenly into both of these. So the greatest common factor of these two numbers is four. And so what what I want to do is I want to take this concept here. Okay, this 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 concept of, of finding the, the largest factor that goes into a number and factoring it out of a polynomial. So what's going on here is you're going to be undoing the distributive property, basically. Okay, so let's factor each of the following, all right? So we'll start with something like this. 10x cubed minus 4x squared. Okay. All right, so you've got to figure out... Um, uh, you know, start with the coefficients, right? So, so think about the numbers uh, ten and four. Like, you can rewrite ten as two times five. That's awesome. And you can write four as two times two. And don't forget, I'm putting these little x squareds there and x cubed there still. Well, look, right off the bat, you can see that they both have a factor of two in it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor this out. I'm going to undo the distributive property. Okay, with those. <clears throat> Sorry, this is multiplied by here. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do, and I'll rewrite it just so it's a little bit easier, is you're going to look at um, the variables. Could I rewrite x cubed as, well, let's see, 
2 times 5. Is x cubed the same thing as x squared times x? Yes, yes it is. Now, now, now look at this, this expression here. They each have a 2 and they each have an x squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor those out. I'm going to take them out of the expression. So I'm going to take out a 2x squared. And look what I have left. Well, in this first term here, I have 5 times x minus 2. And then the 2 and the x squared came out. So just minus 2. And this right here is now factored completely. All right, and you can check this, right? If you were to redistribute this, you'd go 2x squared times uh, 5x, you'd get 10x cubed. 2x squared times this minus 2 gives me minus 4x squared. And look, you get the same thing. You get back to, to where you were here. Now let's try this one. Let's look at 2x times x plus 3 plus 3 times x plus 3. All right, well, look here. Do you notice that this is 2x times x plus 3, and this is 3 times x plus 3? They both have, literally, an x plus 3 in them. So I'm going to factor it out. I'm going to take it out. So when I take out the x plus 3, what am I left with? I'm left with 2x plus 3. All right, now let's try this one. Let's try 25 x squared y cubed minus 15x y squared. So this is a polynomial in two variables. All right, so I'm going to try to do this a <clears throat> little bit of a shorthand way. Okay, so look at the 25 and 15, right? Right off the bat, like what's the greatest common factor of 25 and 15? Well, a 5 goes into both of them. So when I factor out a 5, right, what am I left with in the 25? I'm left with a 5. Don't forget this minus, minus 3. Now let's look at the x squared x. Well, the largest factor here between x squared and x is an x. So I'm going to put 1x out here. And then I still have x squared here. So I need a little bit of an x left behind. And then y cubed minus y squared. And then I have this, this y squared over here. Well, well, y cubed is the same thing as y squared times y. So I'm going to factor a y squared out of both of them. And then you're just left with this one y here from this. So this very simply factored as 5xy squared times 5xy minus 3. And if you were to redistribute this back, okay, you would see that you would get exactly the same thing. So, so the, this, this method works. And I promise you, you know, the, the more you practice this, the easier and easier and easier it will become. All right, let's talk next about uh, another method called factor by grouping. Okay, so some polynomials have only a greatest common factor of one. Okay, so let me show you this first one here. If you look at 3x squared plus 6x plus 4x plus 8. Okay, so this, this factor by grouping generally works with four term polynomials. Okay, so if you look here, what I mean by they only have a common factor of one is if you were to try to factor out the greatest common factor of three x squared, six x, four x, and eight, like there's no number that goes into all of these. So however, by a, a suitable grouping of terms, right, it may still be possible to factor. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to group terms together. Okay, this process is called factor by grouping. So when you do factor by grouping, what you're going to do is you're going to group the first two terms together. And then you're going to group the second two terms together. Then next thing you're going to do is you're going to factor out the GCF, the greatest common factor, from each group. All right, so think about 3x squared plus 6x. The greatest common factor between 3 and 6 is 3. x squared and x is x. So you're left with then just x plus 2. What's the greatest common factor between 4 and 8? Ah, oh, it's just the number 4. So 
I'm going to factor out a 4. So when I do, I'm left with x plus 2. Now, again, notice, check this out. I have 3x and then in parentheses times x plus 2 plus 4 and then in parentheses times x plus 2. Notice they both have an x plus 2. So now factor out the common group in each term. So notice how they both have an x plus 2. So I'm going to factor that out. And then what am I left with? I'm left with 3x plus 4. And I got it. And this right here, if you were to FOIL this out, if you FOIL this out, you're going to get back to this. And it's 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 pretty pretty wild. All right, let's do um, let's do two more of these factor by groupings. Let's look at this one. Let's look at this x cubed minus two x squared plus five x <coughs> minus ten. Okay, so notice there's no greatest common factor among the four terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the first two, and I'm going to group the second two. And I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor between x cubed minus 2x squared is just x squared. I'm going to take out an x squared. I'm left with x minus 2. Look here. 5x minus 10, the 5 and 10, so I'm going to factor out a 5. I'm left with x minus 2, and oh, check this out. Right here, they both have a x minus 2, so I'm going to factor that out. And I'm left with x squared plus 5. All right, let me do this, this last example of this, because this is a little bit tricky. Uh, let's look at... Let's look at x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 10. All right, notice, notice you have a negative in the middle. So the negative in the middle is trouble. So I'm going to group the first two terms together. Now watch this. I'm going to put this minus. So when I group this here, notice the negative is on the outside now. So when I redistribute it, I get the minus 2x. Uh-huh. But what's, uh, what's a minus times a minus now? Plus. Okay. So if you were to redistribute it, you get back to the minus 2x. And then minus plus gets you the minus. So when you put this negative in the middle, okay, right here, you're going to have to change the sign of the middle term or the end term, excuse me here. Now watch, okay? <laughs> x cubed plus 5x squared, I'm going to factor out an x squared. Here I'm going to factor out a 2. And now look, they both contain an x plus 5. So just be careful of that um, that negative in the middle there when you do these factor by grouping. All right, so as I said at the start here, and uh, this first video is gonna contain uh, these first two methods. My next lecture is gonna be talking about how you factor trinomials. Ooh.